Let's move on now to the next topic. And the next topic today is sent in to us from uh, Andreas, who writes, It's theory time. Okay, here we go. Do you buy that the unused shots from the Infinity War trailer, Cap, Hulk, etc., running towards the camera in Wakanda, are actually part of a time travel plot in Endgame? Would Marvel use budget and time to film such a scene specifically, uh, put great visual effects on it for a trailer? All right, thanks a lot for the message, Andreas. Here we go. Ever since we saw in Avengers Endgame, or Infinity War, I should say, that this big money shot from the uh, Infinity War trailers was not in the movie. Once we saw Infinity War and we saw, oh, this shot is not in the movie. The speculation has been rampant that, well, wait a minute. What if that's a shot from Endgame? What if this is a shot that they actually shot, but they're using it for Endgame and they just slid into the trailer here? That has been a popular ongoing theory. And the theory has evolved a little bit in different shapes and forms, but ultimately down to the same root, that this shot is not a fake shot. It's a shot from Endgame. And they put it in the Infinity War trailer to use as a misdirect, and they're still going to use it again in Endgame. Okay, let's look at some of the possibilities about why something like that could feasibly be possible. Number one, they did shoot Infinity War and Endgame back-to-back. -back. However, it is important to note they didn't shoot them at the same time. Remember, they did all the shooting for Infinity War, wrapped that film, took a very short break, and then went right into shooting Endgame. It's not like they were shooting it all together at once and then separated out the Infinity War scenes into the Infinity War movie and sorted out all the Endgame scenes into the Endgame movie. It's not like that was the case. They shot one, wrapped, then they went on and shot the second one, which is Endgame. And that's what we got here. So could you possibly, let me give you my reasons why I really don't think this is a shot from Endgame at all. The main reason and number one is, again, they didn't shoot shots and scenes for Endgame while they were shooting Infinity War. They just shot Infinity War, wrapped it, went on to the next. The other thing, you're saying like, why would they spend all that money for a trailer? Well, Disney probably spent about $150 million to $200 million in marketing Infinity War. They spent a lot of money on marketing that. To do this one shot would be a small fraction of that. Because look, they probably had tons of shots of all these people running together. Remember, of all the stuff you see on screen, there's a whole ton of footage that doesn't get used in the movie. They'll shoot different things from different angles and different ways, and then in the editing room, they'll select everything the way they want it. So a shot like this one, minus the Hulk, a shot like this one with Bucky, Widow, Okoye, uh, T'Challa, Steve, all running into battle, that was probably something that was shot. So it's just footage that was there for them to use. To then just CGI in Rhodey and Sam is super easy. They have tons of footage of War Machine flying around and Falcon flying around. That's super easy. All you got to do is take that footage and just composite it into the shot. And then you probably have loads of Hulk footage that you can just, oh, just plop it into that shot. But we've already got the Hulk model from Thor Ragnarok. We don't even have, we don't have to design the model. We don't have to rig it up. We don't have to do all the things you need to do. It's already there and ready to go. Oh, great. Do me a favor. Give me a quick animation of that model running like this and render it out. They do that, hand it over the compositor, composite it into the shot, boom. And then all the, the other thing they did was they just changed the background, make it look like they're in a forest instead of in that big open plane like they did the battle in, in Infinity War. This shot probably took no more than a couple of days to put together. In a marketing campaign that costs more than most movies cost, so it really was no big issue. Also, and then of course again, you know, in as we get into Endgame, Cap doesn't have the beard anymore. He does, He's not wearing that costume per se and all that kind of stuff. So this shot was really actually very easy for them to put together. Did not take a lot of time, did not take a lot of man hours, and they were able to just to slap that together. And it probably didn't cost them much at all. And it was a huge misdirect that was probably worth every penny. So 
then we get into the question of possibilities. Is it possible that Kevin Feige and the Russo brothers want to use that shot? Because really, that's the only shot we're talking about, right? There's really not a lot of other, not a lot of other high-profile shots from Infinity War that were misdirects. There was the Thanos without the Infinity Stones on Captain America shot. They're not going to use that in Endgame. Then there was that shot. So this is really the only shot we're talking about. In the realm of possibilities, is it possible? Absolutely. The Russos and Kevin Feige and, uh, you know, D'Esposito could be throwing us a curveball. It's possible. Is it likely? Probably not. The most likely scenario is that was an easy shot to make. They didn't shoot these things concurrently. I think it was specifically just to do a little misdirect. So I, for one, am not expecting to see that shot in Endgame. I'm not expecting to see that shot in Endgame. So that's where I'm at. But a lot of you guys have different theories on that. What are your theories? Do you think we're going to see that shot that was used in the Infinity War trailers, but not in the movie? Do you think we're going to see that in Endgame? Jump down in the comment section below and let me know what you think.